Good morning, everyone. It's Ellie from LZ Pell's Bookshelf. First, I want to apologize for the street noise. It's early and people are going to work. So this is the only place that I can film right now in my house. I do want to remind you to go and watch my giveaway video. Um, it ends tomorrow, so go to that video and comment. One second. Is what I live with every day. Um, also, um, remind you that everything in my shop is 10% off right now, including my scrap packs. So if you want to go and get one of those, then you can enter to win um, a 9x6 journal of your choice. And that giveaway ends on June 30th. Um, what else? Come and join my Facebook group. I'll have that link below. So this is a custom order journal for my large order customer. It's a botanical theme. And I just love this fabric. <clears throat> it has like giant leaves on it. I love the colors. So I did some collaging on the front and stitching all the way around. Inside here I have a nice beautiful vintage um, flashcards. I really love them. I don't know why. And this neat little painting. This is some um, um, scrapbook paper, digital scrapbook paper from Digital Curio. I found her through Lindsay Zenor and I love everything. This is a um, digital from <clears throat> Allure Books Craft, I believe, and I will have her linked below. I love her stuff. It's so delicate. That's the only word I have to describe it. It's just delicate and beautiful. And then I have this, this ribbon here. This is also from Allure Books Craft. And behind that is a vintage flashcard that I backed with some scrapbook paper. And this here is a pocket with a little tag that I made. And of course this opens, it's just white inside. Here I have some eyelash trim and there's a tab. These are from the, the old design shop on Etsy. And this, maybe found this on the internet. Some scrapbook paper with a tag. Some coloring paper. Oh, here's from Digital Curio. This is from Allure Books Craft. So pretty. Some trim. This is a little pocket. I found this image digging around. It is a copyright free image. Here's a little bulb pin with some little beads. Some trim. Here's another one of those pages. So pretty. And some more. I think this is from Pixabay. You guys don't go there, you should. They have a lot of vintage images. There's another tag. Love this. Little button. Here is a vintage playing card that I just backed. She can write on that. Extra writing space. This is also um, from my research. Okay. There's some vellum. And a little mini Rolodex card tuck. One of these. I have a big giant book full of these cards. So uh, there's also some of these included in my scrap pack. Here is some vintage book page with some botanical images. This is also from Allure Books Craft. It's like um, dried flowers and then some neat words. Also, um, I had to cut it down, but I do love it. Here's some collage stamping and some lines. And this opens. Here's a giant tag from Allure Books Craft, and this is hers as well. And this one I designed. I used um, one of my vintage 
guest checks and scanned it and then added the images. This is from Pixabay. This is some um, large digital stamping I did on some tracing paper. Also made some lines. And this is from Digital Curio, and I just printed it on yellow paper. If that came out neat. Here's another tag that I made, some beads. Vintage botanical book. Old design shop. Pixabay, I think. Fern. And in here is a little booklet, just some coffee dyed paper inside. Here's a button, and I sewed that with eyelash trim, and then I just left that to dangle. Flip. And pretty. Here's another painting that I found. <clears throat> Flip out, and this is the digital stamp collage that I made. I really like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this opens, there's another tag and some more digital curio. I really like this, um, this kit that she has, it's really pretty. Here's some receipts, some bling. And this opened for two more. This is another little booklet. And another um, old design shop. And these were, you know, larger. I just cut it down. There's a pocket, another tag. And this flips up for extra writing. And another tag I made. There's a bulb pin with just a leaf. Beautiful butterflies. And this opens, and I just put some more lines on it. This opens as well. Extra writing. Some stamping. So you can write the date. Some more journal cards. Isn't that pretty? Okay. And this is just some ribbon I put through these holes on this little mini ledger. Some more vellum. Collaging and stitching. This is a pocket here and back here. And then she can take this out and journal on here if she wants to. This is some index card that I tore. Another journal card. Isn't that pretty? Love those blues. And back to the coffee dyed paper. Here is a little, oh, what are these? Inventory tag. I don't remember the shop I got these from, but they are printable. So if you can't find inventory tags, it's it's great because then you can just buy them. This, I mean, and buy them as a digital. This is a tuck journal card. Some little trends. Seems to be an awful lot of trucks going by this morning for some reason. Here is another playing card that I altered. This is a flip. Some extra little papers. And has some leaf stitching on top. And then I have a little tuck spot here. Another card. Another tag. A little dangle. And then on the back here, I just paper clipped a bunch of extra little things that she can put throughout the book to write on. And that's it. So I hope she loves it. Um, don't forget to join my giveaways, visit my shop, everything's 10% off right now, and I thank you for watching, bye!